In the last episode, it was mentioned that Ning Rongrong's background is very powerful, Ning Rongrong's clan uncle Jian is going to go and bring Ning Rongrong back, but Fingji insisted that Ning Rongrong study at Shrek Academy, and said that Ning Rongrong was spoiled at home. Spoiled, it's good to go out and get some education. Ning Rongrong and Oscar returned to the Dean after 20 laps. The Dean asked Oscar if the two of them had finished running? Oscar hesitated for a moment and said the run was over, the Dean patted Oscar on the shoulder, and then asked Oscar to run another 20 laps. Later, the Dean asked Ning Rongrong if he had finished the 20 laps. Ning Rongrong replied no, saying that the distance was too long, and he was hungry and could not hold on. Dean said that so you went into town alone, had a big meal, went shopping, and then came back to find Oscar, right? Ning Rongrong said angrily that the Dean was monitoring her, and the Dean explained that as the Dean, he was responsible for every student. The Dean gave Ning Rongrong two choices, one is to pack up and leave, and the other is to prove to me that you have the determination to never make mistakes again. Ning Rongrong said boldly that Flender was just a little soul sage, and it would not be easy to drive her away, and advised Flender to take care of her, otherwise he would not be able to bear the consequences. Flender said lightly that since you don't like this place, let's go, and then let Mubai pack up for this eldest young lady. Ning Rongrong said that Flender was the first person who dared to treat her like this, but Flender said contemptuously that even if she was the daughter of the seven treasure glazed tile sect, in his eyes, she was nothing but a great soul master. Emphasized that everyone here is better than her. Mubai reached soul reverence at the age of 13, Tang San Xiaowu's spirit power was 29, Ma Hongjun was a top-level beast martial spirit, Zhu Xuqing's spirit power was similar to yours, but her appraisal perseverance was much stronger than yours. Ning Rongrong defended that he was an auxiliary spirit master and had a greater role on the battlefield. Flender sarcastically said that going to the battlefield for a soul master like Ning Rongrong is death. With your impetuousness and arrogance, how can you find a reliable partner? Ning Rongrong pointed to Oscar, then I'm better than him, but Flender said, have you ever seen a food type soul master who was innately full of soul power? He also emphasized that Oscar, an unprecedented support type innate soul master with full soul power, is likely to take the place of the seven treasure glazed tile school in the future. Now, do you know that you are the worst student in this class? Ming Rongrong ran away crying, the dean asked Oscar to comfort him, and then told us that we must listen to him in the academy. In the evening, Flender took us to the Great Soul Arena. Mubai was a little surprised, but Flender said that monsters must have their cultivation methods. The Great Soul Fighting Field is the place where spirit masters fight for martial arts, and it is also a place for gamblers to buy and leave, but for us, it is the best platform to improve our actual combat experience, because it is relatively fair. After you register, you will have a badge, and if you accumulate 100 points, you can be promoted to Bronze Fighter. Flender requires us to get at least the Silver Fighting Spirit Badge before graduation. On the way to sign up, Mubai introduced the level distribution of badges, from low to high, iron, copper, silver, gold, sapphire, ruby, diamond. Mubai said that he now has 29 wins, 27 losses, and 2 points. We can't believe it's so difficult with Mubai's strength. Ma Hongjun has 21 wins and 12 losses, with 9 points, which is higher than Mubai. Mubai explained that he was level 29 when he participated in the Great Battle of Souls. Yes, of course losing streak. There are three kinds of fighting spirits here, game fighting, death fighting, and gambling fighting. The latter two are to fight with life, and emphasize that we are currently mainly participating in game battles and learning from each other. Mubai, Zhu Xuqing, Xiaowu and I signed up for the 2v2 competition and entered the competition venue. A host did a warm-up for the opening ceremony. Introducing the first game, fighting the big soul master Xiaowu against the big soul master Cheng Bao, Qing Bao is a burly figure and has muscles all over his body. The audience saw Xiaowu's skinny appearance and shouted that this is not the place you should come, hurry up and go home, Xiaowu ignores it. Xiaowu and Cheng Bao looked at each other. In the face of Qing Bao, who was much bigger than her, could Xiaowu defeat each other? Click to subscribe and follow us to learn more about the next issue.